Hello and welcome to August 18th full moon reading with me, Dadam Carr. You can reach me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com. This is for Taurus this month. Satnam, Namaste. Nice to see you. So, I will be shuffling for Taurus. I invoke the energies of Venus. I invoke the energies of the cow. I invoke the energies of the Brahma bull. I invoke the energies of the Minotaur. I invoke the energies of the Earth Goddess, the loving, nurturing Earth Goddess who provides us such beautiful spices, such beautiful flowers, such beautiful nutritious vegetables and fruits. These I associate with Taurus. And the stability the mothering the nurturing Taurus. The abundance the milk of human kindness. The Earth Mother of Taurus, Lakshmi, all the manifestations of Venus, all of the trees, all of the world, tree spirits, Greek Isles, cradle of civilization. In the subconscious, the six of coins, giving money, service, selfless sacrifice of money, finding money through helping others. You may find yourself in a job where you desire helping others and making money from it. In the deck, the Six of Coins. Is generosity, philanthropy, charity, kindness, gratification, gifts, and material gain. Through selfless sacrifice, you will have things coming back to you. Good things. Your present position. You are the High Priestess reversed. And this is your question. Can also represent you. Saint Olga, equal to the Apostles. Grand Duchess of Kiev was the first in Russia to accept the Eastern Orthodox faith from the Byzantines in 957. The three barred Russian cross adorns her chest, and she blesses with her right hand, and holds the scroll in her left hand. The lion that supports the throne symbolizes the paganism of the tribes of ancient Russia. The red cloth emphasizes coming changes, 
In 30 years, Olga's grandson, St. Duke Vladimir, will have baptized all Russian people, helping to unify the Slavic tribes in its reversed meaning. You have been suffering from an ignorance, a short-sightedness or a selfishness from someone. Passion, physical ardor, the acceptance of superficial knowledge, and the bad judgment. Oh, so, perhaps you have been lured by sensual gratification and sexuality, physicality, a sensuous pleasure. However, uh, this might not be good for you. It is a short-term affair, uh, not a good idea at this time for you. What crosses you? Oh, the Five of Swords. This is chaos. Chaos is crossing you. You see the external world, and it is difficult, a difficult thing. It is in a very, very set position, this card. It is conquest, defeat, restriction of others, degradation, adversary may arrive, revocation, infamy, dishonor. So, you have been challenged to lay down your principles and accept someone. However, this is not a good idea. Um, this will hurt your reputation. What is on your mind? The devil. You feel subsumed, consumed by this person. By their thoughts, by their presence, by this passion, by this addiction, this desire. And the devil's face resembles Joseph Stalin, who ruled the USSR for 30 years. His powerful body symbolizes the intensity of his power. Tattoos represent his power as criminal in nature, and bat wings symbolize its extent. The martial star above him is a symbol of his victories. The horn shows the devilish cunning with which he arms his winnings. Two eyes on his chest symbolize the vigilance of secret police. Devil's chains trap a man and a woman deprived of civil rights. Uh, it is ravage, bondage, malevolence, subservience, downfall, weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, black magic, unexpected failure, inability to realize goals, violent shock, fatality, self-punishment, temptation to evil, and self-destruction. These are all on your mind. They are influences which are surrounding us. But we already know what to do. So what is the recent past that has put you here? The lovers, a faded relationship. The lovers are upright. They are in the recent past. It says a couple is dressed in traditional pleasant clothes. The white kid and lamb symbolize innocence and purity of feeling. Mountains and trees intertwined with a serpent signified possible difficulties. Above is a six-winged cherub, also known as a seraphim, who with their flaming swords bring justice in the end. Love, beauty, perfection, harmony, trust, beginning of a romance, deep feeling, optimism. Freedom of emotion, the necessity of testing or of subjecting <coughs> to trial. Struggle between sacred and profane love, a meaningful affair. So perhaps this is someone who has satisfied you deeply, physically or with their presence, or in a material way. But somehow emotionally, you know that they are asking you to compromise something which is very important to you. 
with this, we have the Ace of Cups reversed. In a distant past. Great abundance, change, erosion, instability, sterility, unrequited love, clouded joy, false heart, inconsistency. So, you have had opportunities before, but they were not good. They ended poorly. You've been short of options. And in the recent past, you had an option. You enjoyed this love affair. It was a good thing for a little while. But now, it's not so good. Things have eroded. So. What is in the future for you? What is your uh, hopes for the future? King of Coins. This is a man who knows his business. An experienced and successful leader. A person of character and intelligence. Business acumen. Mathematical ability. A loyal friend. Reliable marriage partner. Wise investment. Ability to acquire money and valuable possessions. This is what you need. This is what you're searching for. This is probably someone who's already around you even. Someone who you assume is just a friend or not interested. Maybe somebody you assume is too busy. However, this may be a wiser choice. Certainly wiser than, say, flashiness or physicality. This person has the goods where it counts, is what I'm being told. Um, and uh, that you need someone with intelligence and leadership skills. Someone who's been there for you thr thick, through thick and thin, instead of a sudden uh, love affair where it seems too good to be true and they seem to be pressuring you into stuff you don't know if you want. Uh, you certainly should not go there if you're just happy for a change of pace. Um, in your immediate environment, um, the card is the two of clubs in the seventh place. And two of clubs says there's a decision to be made. Um, it is your present position, your attitude. You see two sides to the coin or the club. <laughs> You've got your option of two clubs here. And with the two of clubs, this speaks of a mature individual, a ruler, attainment of goals and needs, boldness, courage and undertakings, a dominant personality. So, um, certainly, you are willing to take on this challenge. You are willing to um, make changes for the better you're willing to see that this may not be the best idea for you to proceed in getting involved with and feeling more trapped. So your influence on others and others' influence on you. It's the Ten of Swords. This is the incredibly painful card. It's also intellectuality. It's also air signs, which are uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and it speaks of um, intellectuality, but to uh, the co detriment of emotional uh, thought, or emotional leading from the heart. Ten of Swords, 
your influence on others and others' influence on you is ruin, is um, reversed, benefit, benefit, profit, temporary gain, improvement, passing success, momentary advantage. So I would say that you made out okay. You did all right in this love affair or this job, or um, for, you know, when, uh, in helping others, in, in being a person who uh, was there for someone and, and enjoyed that moment. However, this is saying that, that this is something that passes, that, that perhaps it is better to let it pass, or if you are in a committed relationship, let something slide rather than make a big deal out of it, if you can. Uh, but you stick to your guns. You do things the way you do. continue to do them. Um, you keep yourself from feeling entrapped at all or tangled at all with the energy because um, it's mountains and valleys and both of them are very short and this says that um, that you are experiencing an upswing if you are at a low you are about to experience an upswing is what this says again um, for all that you've been through. So, in the ninth position, your inner emotions to all of this is the Knight of Cups reversed. So, but it's reversed. So, and the Knight of Cups, an invitation or opportunity may. Um, Reversed means subtlety, artifice, trickery, a sly and cunning person, a person capable of swindling. Um, so, those are your inner emotions. Um, and I feel that you're saying, the, the spirits are saying, Get out, get out now, <laughs> if you're only dating. Um, if you are in a committed partnership, it is it is suggesting that um, there's some level of artifice going on, and you can clear the air. Just clear the air. That's, that's what needs to happen. Um, and sometimes clearing the air means getting away and being by yourself a little bit. Doing something nice for yourself. Going to a spa or a res retreat or something like that. But getting away from it all if you can. Uh, or even turning your home into a retreat. So, at the end, the final, final card is the Seven of Clubs. And the Seven of Clubs is all about success, gain, overwhelming odds amounted, advantage, and victory. So, whether it's about changing around your business a little bit so that you can help others better, so that you don't feel as enslaved. Um, so that you are not as led by artifice and vice, but more by your uh, desire to, uh, for love and understanding and honesty, you will, without a doubt, be gaining right now. Uh, Keep that emotion of love, that emotion of um, forgiveness, 
and generosity of spirit together. What I see for you is a heavy positive male influence in the emperor and the king of coins and uh, good decision making. You already know how, what decision needs to be made, what course needs to be followed. And um, when you pursue it, you will attain all of your goals. Um, it will naturally fall into place. And with it, uh, additional prosperity, you will finally break free from this high priestess, which is reversed, which is stagnation, which is um, a, a point of... Um, Allowing your inner self to be denied, a point of denying what you know, what your inner character says is best, your inner conscience. And instead, you are about to take on a whole new era of n not just abundance, but actual goal attainment, making some decisions. This is two clubs is somebody who makes decisions, and that's what it, it is suggesting is that that is up to you to take up arms and clear the decks because there is some fantastic stuff coming your way. You've got a lot of seven of clubs. You've got action happening now. You've got Virgo happening, which is a beautiful time for Taurus. So if you would like a personal tarot reading or an astrology reading. Um, I plan to make an entire selection of videos and uh, if you feel you'd benefit from having a reading, please let me know. If you'd like to donate, there's Patreon. Uh, I'm through PayPal um, and you can write me at dudhamkar23 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you. Um, so, Sadnam, Namaste. Thank you so much. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Take care.